Hello and welcome to the show, supported by Media Proxy. Today we're speaking to a new company, to Kit Plus TV, and although in our virtual studio we do have control of the light coming through our window, they offer solutions that many will find very useful indeed. Yes, so today we'd like to welcome Rick Smith from Broadcast Blinds. Hi Rick, welcome to the show. Hi guys, how are you today? Yeah. We're good, and it's thanks for joining us. So, Rick, you're you're new to us, as Matt said, and possibly new to many of the people watching this. So, tell us a little bit about Broadcast Blinds and what you do. Well, we've been around for about twenty years, uh, and what we do is we help control the amount of daylight coming in from exterior windows and studios. Um, so, if you think of, um, well, it, it sounds to me like you guys are in London. Is are you close? Not You're far away. Close. <laughs> okay, so so over there, uh, I believe Bloomberg has done something like that, um, right? And over here, um, we work with people like Fox News and Good Morning America, um, sometimes ESPN, to control the amount of daylight coming into the studio so that talent looks good on camera and the background outside looks good on camera at the same time. So. Ha- how does this how does it work what are you actually fitting physical blinds is it what is the product well they are actually physical blinds uh we use a combination of scrims and gels in order to allow a uh, neutral density f-stops ranging from one stop to um as as many as oh i think the largest we've done is probably 11 or 12 f-stops reduction of light, um, which which really allows you to light your talent properly, but still in in a setting like Dubai, for instance, allows you to see what's outside or in in Iraq for that matter, where it's incredibly bright outside. So how do you deal with, I mean, in London, for, for example, you can have four seasons in one day. How do you deal with the changing light conditions And also, of course, as it gets either lighter or darker at night or in the morning. Well, great question. So we generally automate what we do. It's generally controlled from the lighting console so that your lighting director, as the conditions change during the day, can bring in different levels of density. Um, And we generally make them so they're stackable. So most typically we'll have one or two scrims and then uh, two or three gels behind them. So you can stack the gels and use one scrim with them in order to uh, add it up, if you will. Um, For instance, if if you use a two-stop scrim and a one-stop gel, you've got three F-stops reduction. Uh, Switch that one-stop gel out, you've got two-stop reduction. Bring in a two-stop gel, you've got four, uh, and and add the one-stop you know, back and you're up to five. So it's, it's just a matter of how we layer them to make sense for a particular location. And you, I understand you, you've got some, some, some pretty high profile uh, uh, installations, and uh, so we call them case studies for the sake of the conversation. Give us a clue of what you've done, uh, some of, the, some of the, the bigger projects, the 12 stop project, for example, maybe. Well, okay. So that was actually in Iraq, in uh, Kurdistan, uh, for the Rudon network. And they've got a studio there, which is windows on two entire sides, uh, overlooking the hills around uh, Sulaymaniyya. And so over there, view it during the day, without our system in place, really it just looks like it's uh, a blaze of light. Um, it might as well be a dust okay. storm, to tell you the truth. So as we bring okay. our levels of control in, you can actually see what's out there. Um, similarly, a uh, project in Dubai, which um, has similar situation. Um, it's not quite as bright there, but still it's bright all day. Um, and again, they need mm. multiple levels of stop as well as um, we're going to be adding some blackout shades there uh, in the next month or two for uh, additional masking so that we can 
control the amount of light that comes across the floor based on the position of the sun. And, as, uh, and when we say it, obviously it's controlled by the light panel, it's an installation, a physical installation. It goes up on the uh, on the window. What is it, on a, a motor roller or how, how is it? In, it how does, how it's multiple motors and away? multiple rollers. Yeah. Um, yeah. We um, include light blocking for the edges because obviously if we have light creeping in, it would be like uh -huh. a, uh, a blaze of a gunshot <laughs> coming in just terrible yeah. um so and that's generally hidden by set pieces but um uh, sometimes it's just uh, looks like structural um custom colored if necessary to match whatever's going on in the building um it's uh yeah. i mean to us it's relatively simple to everybody else it seems to be pretty complex so uh, blinds very good reducing the light do you do anything else? Have you got any other products to, 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 to do with Windows? Well, something we've done recently, uh, in fact, for CNBC in New York, was they needed a, a green screen to uh, for purposes on their particular set. And on occasion, we actually add a layer of green screen mm. in at the windows to give extra utility to that space. Uh, just helps yeah. them utilize the space more effectively. Absolutely. Well, hopefully, Rick, the cutaways we've been showing and the, the video that we've been showing as we've been chatting will will, um, will help explain it and, and actually visualize it to people watching this so they can see what it is. But thank you very much for joining us today. It's been really interesting. Um, and do check out all of the solutions they can offer at broadcastblinds.com. Thanks to Media Proxy for their support, Kit Plus TV, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. See you guys.